Right, here we are at the electrical unit and what we're going to do first is run our feed wires in and to do that we're going to grab the end of the cord that has the, the plug on the end find the other end of that cord and it's going to be ran up through the hole in the bottom side of the switch box I grabbed another block here and you can see this is the hole that I'm talking about there's a screw deep inside here if you loosen that screw this opening gets bigger and then when you tighten it it clamps onto the wire so that's what we're going to do in this step I'm going to take the end of the wire flatten it out and I'm going to run it up through the hole that's in there so the end of the wire is in the box and then I'm going to pull it out towards myself You want this to come out about six inches or so. Grab a Phillips screwdriver and tighten that screw in the back. That's going to clamp the wire to the box. The next wire we're going to do is we're going to run a wire from the top of the box to the light box. Now this wire is long. It's okay. It's a in this activity we're doing this to show you how the connections are made. Um, if you're doing this for real, you would make this wire short and you would staple it to the stud. This is just a learning activity, so everything's not really up to code, but it shows you how to do it. So the end of the wire goes down into the box and then get it, bend it so it comes out the front of the box the six inches. So it should be the same as the other wire. And you can clamp that screw Clamp the wire down by turning the screw. Next part, grab the other end of that wire and you can keep this coiled up. Now when you get to it, it might be a short wire, maybe a brand new one, so it might be long. Every time somebody uses this, it gets a little bit shorter. I'm going to feed it up through the hole in the bottom of this box and pull it out the front that six inches. Tighten up that screw. Once you get to this point, you're going to call me over and I'm going to take the sheathing off of the wire. That's this white stuff here. Students typically have a hard time doing this, so I'll be doing this part. If you're doing this in real, you wouldn't be doing it like this. There's a different tool that you use that doesn't, um, that couldn't cut the insulation off the wires themselves. So if you're doing this for real, you wouldn't use a utility knife. I'm just using it in class because it's the quickest and easiest way for me to get this done and give you enough time to make the connections. So after you call me over and I take this sheathing off, that leaves you with a bunch of wires. I suggest that you start off with the light box on the top. So you don't poke yourself, just take all these wires and bend them back so you're not going to poke yourself with them. Now I have three wires at the top. I have the white wire here and this is the return wire to the box. The black wire is where the power is coming from so this is your supply. The ground wire is a safety wire. Let's get the ground wire done first. In the back of the switch box you'll find a green screw. It might be on the bottom, it might be up towards the top. All you have to do is wrap and make a little hook here out of this wire and then bend that wire so the hook goes behind the screw and then kind of close it down. Now, I know it might be hard for you to see but that's what we just did is we made the loop go around the wire take a screwdriver and tighten that up. It should be firmly connected to the box. This grounds this box so in case this wire ever came off and touched the box it wouldn't electrify the box and somebody could get shocked so that's a safety wire. The next thing we're going to do is strip back the ends of these two wires using wire strippers. This is uh, 12 gauge wire, uh, sorry this is 14 gauge wire and what you're going to do is just line it up with 14, again go back about the thickness of your finger, squeeze, turn, put a finger on each side of the wire, loosen this hand just a little bit, wiggle and pull. 14, about a half inch thickness of your finger, squeeze, finger on each side, wiggle, loosen this hand a little bit, wiggle and pull, pops right off. I'm going to take a pair of needle nose pliers. 
And you're going to make some hooks here. These hooks will be screwed on to the back of the light switch. I have brass and silver, black to brass, white to silver. Silver is lighter, brighter, and whiter than brass. Black is darker, black, brass, B and B, all different types of ways to remember where these go. But the silver goes, white goes to silver, and I have chrome, and then I can take and tighten that screw. Black goes to brass, tighten that screw. Okay, so now we can fasten this cover to the box itself. If I fold these wires kind of like an accordion, it'll go together a lot easier for me. You can line this up, grab a screw, put that in. Now, please don't over tighten these. All you're going to do is tighten them so they're snug. If you go too tight, you will crack these. And I've had many students crack these boxes. So please try not to be one of those students. So again, tighten that up. They are rather long screws. There it goes. And then... Do the other one. Some of these you're going to find are stripped out from so much use from other students. Apparently that was the case for that one because it didn't end up tightening up. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Now we're down to the switch. There's a lot of wires in here. I know it looks confusing. First thing we're going to do is deal with our ground wires again. Bend the other wires out of the way. The ground wires need to be bonded together. I'm going to take these ground wires and I'm going to twist them with a half twist. The twist is inside the box. And then I'm going to take a pair of bigger pliers here, grab onto that twist, fold these wires in, and give it about four turns or so. And that's really twisting those wires together. I'm going to reach in with the cutters and cut one wire off. The twisted spot is right where the switch needs to be. I'm going to push this to the upper left. I'll place a hook onto my ground wire. There is a green screw on the side of the switch box. Put those together. Tighten that wire. When you're tightening these, you need to tighten them like as hard as you can tighten them just about because they will fall off when you try to jam this back into the box next wires I'm going to deal with will be my white wires the white wires do not get connected to the box or to the switch they allow the electricity to come back through this particular area and back to the panel box but never get connected to the switch itself because they're not being connected I actually am going to cut these a little bit shorter just to save on room inside this box here. I cut them the same length. It makes things a little easier. Again, 14 half of inch back pull. Here's a tricky spot. A lot of students have a hard time with this. Move these wires until the ends are the same length. Grab on with the very ends of these players onto both wires and twist clockwise. And you're going to put several twists on these and notice how the bare part of the wire is twisted together. That's important. To keep this from touching the side of the box and electrifying the box, you use a wire nut. There is a metal spring on the inside of here that kind of wraps around these and it makes a very good connection. Twist this on until you can't twist it anymore. Take your pliers, make sure you don't get to the cutting spot. Grab onto the wire. Twist and push it all the way to the back of the box. So now all the wires except for these two black wires and the ground wire attached here are pushed to the back of the box. Again, you need to have room to put the switch in here. So now what I'm going to do is grab my 
um, my wire strippers, and I will be going again for half inch, wiggle and pull, half inch, and that's 14. I will make two hooks, this time in the upward direction. One hook goes to one screw, the other hook goes to the other one. A lot of students have a hard time with this part too. You need to get that hook underneath that screw. Now be careful, you can't back this screw out too far or it comes right out. It's a very, very short screw. And if it comes out, it is rather difficult to get it back in. Notice the direction that the hooks go around these screws. That is important. There's even little plastic hooks down here that help hold on to that wire. The hooks go around the screw in a clockwise direction. The reason is if you did it backwards, when you go to tighten this up, it actually kicks the wire off. If you do it in a clockwise direction, when you're tightening that screw, it's actually sucking the wire back in. Bend these wires like an accordion. and jam your switch to the back of the box. There are some thinner screws, longer ones, like that. This is the size that went to the upper box, so we're using, these are big ones up here, smaller ones down here. These go through the slotted hole in the switch to the hole right here, and you're gonna screw the switch to the box. Notice I'm not putting the cover on yet. The first thing you do is attach the switch to the box, then you attach the cover to the switch. We'll put our light switch cover on. There's two flathead trim screws, they're white short and that's what holds these on now we are running a safer version of this this is 12 volt system I have a special ball which is 12 volts this is not to be plugged into any outlet. I have a special transformer that cuts the voltage down to a safe voltage for you guys to use. I will be the one plugging these in. And when you're done, We plug in this cord into my transformer here. And you should, hopefully, when everything's hooked up right, the light bulb will turn on when it's all wired correctly. This is when I get the check mark. Now it's time to take this thing back apart. First thing you're gonna do, turn it off before the bulb gets too hot. Unplug from the transformer. Take the light bulb out. Be careful with these light bulbs. They are very expensive. It's not a typical light bulb in your house. And now you, the, I find the best way to take this apart is once, make sure it's unplugged again, is to make sure, take your wire cutters here and the green ones and cut these wires close to the box. Take all the screws out. I want to save that wire nut. Make sure that goes back into the tray. The tools go in the tray. All the screws go back in the tray. Remove any wires that you have, the short pieces, and you can throw those out. So there's our electricity unit. I'll be helping you guys out as you go through this. Uh, any questions, please refer back to the video first before asking me. Um, that's about it. Thanks.